Look, mommy, it's gonna rip. No, put your head it's in. It's not. Oh my god. This is my late lunch. Well, yeah, late lunch. It's not really dinner, but I don't know if I'll actually eat again after this. So this is celery and some onion hummus. So I've been liking this. I was never a fan of celery before, but lately I've been getting into this because I find it kind of filling. Um, and you know, like celery is literally like almost zero calories. Gives you a lot of work to chew it. And then hummus is just tasty and it's a high source of plant protein. I'm using one of those bags that Uncle Bashir or Bashir used for uh, Christmas presents. It comes in pretty handy, so I'm going to use it to take the kids some stuff or our young adults. This is uh, Mariam and Kareem. We're going over to their college today. Um, so this is a cake that I made for Mariam, and there's another cake for Kareem. She wanted to share, I guess, the cake with her friends. I don't know. I found that an interesting request. She asked me one day, hey, mommy, will you bake me a cake? Because I want my friends to taste it. So it's funny how, you know, your kids always act like they don't care about what you do and it's no big deal and they're not interested. Well, obviously, she must be interested enough because she's requested it on several occasions. Hey, have you made the cake? Have you made the cake? So anyway, I finally made the cake. Um, I didn't have a good way to package it other than a Christmas tin. And then in here are the hoodies that I bought them, the Adidas hoodies. I think I told you guys a while back I bought these hoodies for them. Spent way too much money. But on the other hand, I'm really happy to give them something nice that they'll appreciate for their age. You know, they're still in college. So that's what's in here. And I have my juice bottle. This is beet juice mixed with like apple, orange, no, no, apple, lemon, ginger, yeah, and some celery. Um, and I think some kale. As soon as Ken comes back, he just went quickly to run an errand. We will go and then we'll also pick up Nana with us because we haven't seen her um, for several days. And I figure maybe she might want to go hang out with us. Did y'all catch the video that I did with my hair? Today it's looking like real purple, right? Real purple. Like I said, this is what I'm eating. <laughs> it's like the contrast between crunchy, crunchy and creamy, savory. Picture. Yeah, we bought that in okay. South Carolina. Mariam's room. <laughs> we were. I wasn't. I'm surprised to see you, and you had a haircut. He's all clean, fresh. I know. Look at him. <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> <laughs> Kareem, did you hear you had cake? I got you cake in there and some hoodies. <laughs> I just froze. Really? Still? Oh my God, mine it must is, be bad. No, I put mine in the freezer. Mm -hmm. I just left it there because I'm not eating cake every day. Yeah, no, it's not, I forget that it's there. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kareem's room. <laughs> you got a big room, right? <laughs> I like the art, Kareem. Uh, that's nice. Oh, 
Oh, yeah? Oh, that's cool. It looks like a, a fish. Oh, it's a fish. Oh, it looks like a face of a bird with a man's face. Oh, yeah. Blue eyes, bird eyes. They were alive in the Are they still alive? I hope they're still yes. alive. Oh, oh good. What happened to your plants, Miriam? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can take care of my yeah, Kareem, you did a good job because this so one's grown. This one wasn't that big. Yeah. That one's okay. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. It needs light. Yeah, he has blinds open. Hmm. It was nice having Nana see Kareem and Mariam's room, and then we tried to take a group photo. It didn't quite work out. It's hard to get all of us in the picture with my iPhone. So Kenton's been still pretty good with his diet, and he has lost um, how much? 15 pounds. 15 pounds. Um, he's about to go to law school. And yeah, it's a lot. It's like every day is a little bit of a struggle because the reality is, I guess, law school is hard, right? On top of trying to balance that with um, work. It's like your job, you know, they don't, they don't really care if you're trying to better yourself. They don't really care. It has to be a personal sort of decision and goal to do what you want to do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, but I'm proud of him. Do you guys see the belly is disappearing? The belly is disappearing. And, it, um, yeah, so proud of you. Yeah, because I want to <laughs> have a fallback plan in case law doesn't work out. <laughs> so I want to be able to do the poll. <laughs> So you got to laugh, right? You got to laugh sometimes. <laughs> right. So that's uh, peanut dressing, right? Yeah, top of peanut just gluten-free. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, yeah, all natural, gluten-free, lactose-free, vegan. <laughs> um, yeah. Would you ever believe Kenton's eating vegan stuff? <laughs> but this looks good. And I got him half an avocado. Yeah. Which is the good fat. It's the caveman style. Yeah. Hey, okay, whatever works. Whatever works for you. I mean, chicken. So he's still getting his protein, right? Yeah, just no, no, low or no carbs. Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing. And, and so it's kind of almost like a and, keto we've been kind of doing in yeah. a way. And no, but no sugar. Right. No, That's no kind sugar. of the keto thing, you know? Yeah. Um, but I don't know if I but would I, consider I'm myself, fat. right. Do the fat yeah. I'm not doing like, like the high I, fat I, I situation. Fat. No. no. Stay away from that. Right. So, but. Good evening. It is 5.59. 5.59. Like my head scarf. <laughs> I didn't feel like combing my hair. I have this, a lot of hair in here. A lot of hair. Um, anyway, um. Hello, Kenton. Hey, hey. <laughs> Say hello to, are they your honeys? They're not your honey, I'm, I'm your honey. Yeah, I'm talking to you. No, you're no. a good, good, uh, good YouTuber. You're talking to them, you're not talking to me. I'm trying to be a good driver right now, as usual. Yeah. So we don't go off the road. Yeah, yeah. Ken. Even. So I'm at Nana's house. I know y'all still waiting for a, um, what is it? Still waiting for a house tour, but, oh, you got your machine fixed. It's quite big. It's a big professional run. It falls. Wow. It falls. It's huge. Yeah. Yeah, you let me catch. <laughs> I didn't come prepared to get on, but I—I I mean, I don't mind getting on. Don't mind run for the day. Look how you look so little on this thing. <laughs> I—I I mean, I have one, but mine does. Those have the incline. Yes. Yes, the incline. 
Yeah, I like the one. I'm trying to think, what's the difference between mine and this? Mine, is it steps? Or is it just more of an incline? I'm not sure. That up. tells you how long I haven't been on it. Uh, well, you need to go on it. And but then, that's good. So you don't even have to go to the gym. No, but I still go to the gym. Mm. Because I have the elliptical. Well, that's nice that it got fixed because I honestly thought it was going to end up in the junk. Yeah, I thought I was going to throw it away, but we sure wouldn't allow it. So he called, the, he called them and gave me a number to set up an appointment. So I did, and here we are. Nice. How cute are these? I don't know why my mother has this on her kitchen counter, but that's what she has on her counter next to the fruit. She says she puts nuts in there and things she cuts up when she's cooking. <laughs> Looks like something that should be on a dresser, right? Do 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 Random things in my mother's house. Glass slippers. Or glass high heels. Because facial features, the eyes and facial structures can probably be very difficult to change. And guys, it's also not his first running with the law. There was actually shooting domestic violence. His ex-girlfriend testified that he tried is to... That, I, is that decaf? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I ran out in my house. You did? Yeah, I need to get some more. So you, I think I have another pack you can take mm. from the pack. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's horrible. While my mom is washing her hair, I am busy on my phone answering emails and text messages and social media. And I have the TV running, trying to listen to some positive stuff. You know, you got to multitask. You know how it is. <laughs> just left Nana's house and there's so much fog outside. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but it was really, really foggy. Pretty foggy, but also dangerous on the roads. But yeah, it's pretty late. Got to hang out with Nana for a while. <laughs> yeah. She was talking about her surgery. Who? Cardi B. Oh. That she, uh, she had her nose <laughs> She wanted to she's always, had a lot of things she, done well, she, the, her she, nose her cheek she's had fat injections to her face you can see it her whole shape of her face has changed well I don't really care but <laughs> I just heard her talking about her nose and she had fillers put in her nose oh and mm -hmm. she hated it mm. so she thought that was the reason and she had to have surgery after that mm. and I thought Stupid girl. Why are you having <laughs> putting fillers in your nose? Yeah, they do, do it to change it the shape. She, well, to change the projection. Yeah, to create and a projection. It made it long. Mm. Mm, stupid. Mm. Anyway. So you're not having surgery? I thought you were having your surgery. Hell no, not at this age. <laughs> when I was in my 40s, I was gung ho about having my tummy tuck and mm -hmm. what have you, but. Times pass, <laughs> lack of funds, mm. more so. So if you had the funds right now, you would do it? No. Oh, okay. Not now. Oh. If I had the funds when, when I was in my 40s, I had kids in college. So oh. I couldn't, I kept thinking it wasn't reasonable for me to, to do stuff. I'm talking about now. And your kids been out of college for years. Well, now I'm just... My stomach is not bothering me anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's gone flat. With exercise, it goes flat. <laughs> Flattish. <laughs> not flat completely, but flattish. Yeah. So I'm not concerned anymore about mm. stuff. Such vain things. Ear vain. Ear vain. <laughs> Uh, so tell them about your pickleball. For those who don't know what pickleball is. Pickleball. Pickleball. My mom's been playing this new game with her community, pickleball. Uh, pickleball is a fun, it, it reminds me of tennis. Okay. And it's a mix between lawn tennis mm. and table tennis. Mm. 
but you don't the, the court is smaller so you have a smaller area to run is there a table or are you just on no, a court it's just on a court oh so you're running back and forth is it two sides two teams yeah double you usually play doubles but you could play singles oh but as a novice mm. i have no idea about the rules <laughs> so but i hit the ball not yeah. much with the rules. One of these days we got to see you in your uniform. Apparently you have to wear special shoes. Yeah, well, pickleball shoes is just certain sneaker type shoe. Oh. But it has to have a flat surface. It doesn't have the ridges. Do you find you're burning calories? Like, are you oh, actually yeah. sweating when yeah, you do you it? Do, you do, you do. Because, you know, they drop the ball in the kitchen mm. and you got to run from the back of the court to the front of the court. It's not much of a run, but it's mm. enough to, and it's, the ball is constantly coming at you. And are you the oldest there or the, the youngest? I or? would say that I'm the oldest. Really? Mm -hmm. Most of the people, I thought they were old. They're not. They're mm. in their 50s. Wow. Wow. Most of the women here, they're mm. in their 50s. Only a couple are in their 70s. Wow. Um, and they don't go out much mm. or in their 80s. Wow. And you only see them at functions, you know, where you dress up and mm. eat and mingle. So have you been to any dress-up function? Yes. Really? Yes, of course. In like, you will put on a nice dress and... I put on a nice, well, it's casual dressing. Oh, okay. It's they're not, not very formal here. They're not very formal, no. Mm. Um, they're casual. But you put on nice, um, I had on a nice pants on the top, and I wore jewelry, which is what they thought was, ooh, <laughs> fancy. Thought, if you haven't seen fancy, that's what you think is fancy. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Ooh, yeah. Everybody kept saying, oh. And your jewelry's nice. This is Nana's coat. She thinks can fit me. Used to be grandma's, right? I'm telling her this is for little people. This is not gonna fit me. It will fit you fine. Not gonna fit me. She wants me to go to the post office with her. Look, mommy, it's gonna rip. No, put your hand it's in. It's not. Oh my God, it's gonna rip. Look at this. It's not gonna fit. You just know. <laughs> I can't even move my arms. Look how short they are. Well, pull the sleeves down. It can't go because it's too small. It doesn't. Look, it fits. Fits perfect. It really is too small. Look, I can't even move my shoulders. Why don't you bust up my mother's coat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Look, I can't even close it. Can you imagine that? And I remember wrapping that thing around me. Really? Yes. All right, you put it on. Let me see it on you because it definitely is way too small. Now it might be small yeah. for me too. When I used to wrap it around me, I was a size two. See, she's little. Look at her. Little. Look at you. It fits. Of course it fits. It's it my fits. <laughs> it fits. It fits. Down to the Antarctic. Uh, <laughs> This is what we're wearing to go to pick up our mail. <laughs> yes, with stiletto high heels. <laughs> There's the button right here. You could have closed it. I couldn't close anything. Remember that I couldn't even bring it together. Oh, yeah. I don't think anyone in the South is wearing fur coats. Well, perhaps not. I don't need to, to, the, to do that. <laughs> I have a fur top that I would wear for the luncheon that I'm having next week. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Are you hosting it or someone else is hosting it? We're, it's a group of ladies. It's about, I would say about 30 women. Hmm. It's not something. <laughs> See? Yeah. I think you could wear it. Yeah, but I don't think that's going to keep me warm enough outside. That's, that's. I put it. But you have to have a bow on there and the bow still has a tag. No, it doesn't have a tag. Yes, what's that? Oh, like I, oh, I did have a tag on it. Don't tell me I went out with that. <laughs> I didn't even notice. It was either for my hair. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Too much. 
Yeah, no, I think it's too cold for just that. Nice. On a warm day. This was on a fall day when I wore it. Because I just had on a skirt on top. I thought I was going to get it in a few colors. I mean, it's nice with the right outfit. Mm. Yeah, it's nice with the right outfit, but I don't know. I would look ridiculous with it. It's, it's not for me. <laughs> you and that flower. <laughs> I like my flower. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in Nana's closet, but we're not going to show you the whole closet, which is a whole room. But just so you can get an idea, this is just the pants behind her. And this is after she has, um, what is it, edited it? <laughs> this is after you've edited and given away bags of clothes. This is just one wall. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> this is, but Grandma probably would be proud of you. Why would she be? Proud? I don't know, because you probably still have less than she did. She had a lot of stuff. She had a lot more. She had a lot of stuff. A lot more. Right. Yeah, I don't even want to swing around. We're not going to do that because we're going to wait till you do this whole house tour. Come this spring. Yeah. After, I thought Christmas, but you know. After the solarium is built. Oh, okay. Right. Because I have to do renovations first. Oh, okay. Yeah, because these are look dark because they're pants, but usually you're more colorful. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, the blouses behind me are more colorful. Mm -hmm. She wasn't. It's a new day, and earlier today, Kenton went out with Nana. They did some shopping at an ethnic store, or a bunch of ethnic stores. Um, anyway, while he was out, he picked up some kiwi fruit, and this kiwi fruit is nice. Instead of being green when you cut it, it's yellow. Tons of potassium fiber and vitamin C, more vitamin C than an orange. Okay, he also got me some eggplant. I love these eggplants. These are like different than the American eggplants. These are kind of long and skinny. They're really nice. I like to saute them and I haven't done that in a while. He also picked up, what do you think this is? This is turmeric and it has a lot of medicinal properties to it. It helps cut down inflammation, which you know is the major reason for disease. Any disease process you can think of starts with some sort of inflammation. So this helps cut that down. So if you're thinking heart disease, if you're thinking gum disease, if you're thinking stomach ailments, turmeric is a good thing to have. Anyway, I also got some green banana, which I'm gonna boil with some fish. Um, yes, I'm looking forward to that. That is a Caribbean thing to boil green unripened bananas and then also he got some pineapple which we know has tons of vitamin c also good for your stomach really good for you i'm gonna let it ripen a few days before i cut it i also have some plantain and some avocado but the avocados aren't quite ready anyway we're really trying to eat super healthy and you know more greens and vegetables and fruit and oh, look at this. This is um, from this particular supermarket. Take note of this market or this store if you live in the Raleigh, Durham, Wake Forest area. Mm. Um, yes, he got me some salt fish. I wanted salt fish and I wanted some smoked herring. Ooh, if you could smell this, if you could smell this. It's so good, so good. I can't wait to cook it. I'm gonna make some fish with some vegetables and coconut milk, you know, a Caribbean staple. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So we both felt like going for a walk. We had been working, we needed to take a break, but it was way too cold. As soon as we stepped out, like within two minutes, we were like, uh-uh, let's get in the car and go for a ride instead. So we're going to get some exercise. We're just going to walk in the mall instead of walking outside in our neighborhood. Because honestly, it is just too cold and it's not healthy to be out there like that. <laughs> We're walking. <laughs> it's so cold. Hey, by the way, in New York, it's apparently about what seven degrees, and here it's a little 
um, it's like 40 but it's going to drop to 20 so it's icy cold so we just could not stay in our neighborhood and walk it's just too cold it feels colder than 40 degrees anyway the mall is going to be healthier place to walk inside <laughs> the problem is the devil <laughs> the temptation the temptation we're here to exercise we're juicing we're eating vegetables and the first That's thing we see right <laughs> first thing we see is this sign <laughs> A little bit of rum. Yeah. Uh, no. No, 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 no. It's a Saturday. It's not that busy, though. Oh, yeah, maybe. All right. Where are we going? I don't know. I'm going to go look at uh, Victoria's Secret. Let's see. Nice. temptation not doing it not doing it anyone reading Prince Harry and all the controversy I know we're supposed to be walking but there's always something comforting about going into Barnes and Noble it's just a place where Kenton loves I love it there our kids have always loved it there so we always go in there or find an excuse to go in and there's always amazing books like this one so you want to talk about race I assume based on the author's name she is Nigerian so while I was in the nonfiction and history side let me show you where Kenton is <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at world history you're looking at <laughs> pie I know I, oh I was just watching this yesterday actually the great British baking show oh this book is so pretty looking I would actually get it just for the cover but yeah I actually do like that show Mmm. Mmm. Mm. How much is it? Baby chip chip pies. <laughs> With recipes by Paul Hollywood, Prue Leith. Mm. Uh, let's see how much. Twenty-seven ninety-nine. It's ten percent off. It's ten percent off. Yeah, not bad. Oh, this is the brand um, flour that I use for gluten-free yeah, flour, King Arthur, yeah. all-purpose baker's companion. This is a real cookbook, no pictures, all recipes. Favorite flavors. Oh, these cakes are so pretty. I should make something for the spring. Oh, this is the same, um, the Great British Baking Show, just a different version. One. I've been buying a lot of ice cube trays, so let's see what fun things you can do. A lot, a lot, a lot of good cookbooks. My goodness. I love these covers too if you like mysteries and if you're like a big Harry Potter Jane Eyre type of person you got Jane Austen Pride and Prejudice these are all classic books remade love it Edgar Allan Poe classic stories I really should reread some of these books books you read in college Alice Adventures in Wonderland actually I just for the first time watched the movie um, with Alice in Wonderland it was an updated version 
I read this in high school, I think. Yeah. Odyssey Homer. But if you like books and covers, you'll appreciate these books. They're so beautiful. Oh, look at all of the detail. Of course, I'm drawn to the yellow. The Prince on the Art of Power. I'm not even going to try to say this author's name. Niccolo Machia Veltz. Oh, I probably butchered that. Oh, Kenton has this, but his is a lot larger. Um, the Art of War. Such a cute little book. And of course they have journals. It says chart your life one week at a time. But look at this one, I love this. It's got like miniature covers, miniature books on the cover, right? Look, tiny little books on the cover. So pretty. It's a journal. Write all your goals and your dreams, literally and your chores and stay organized. Wow, I'm really loving all of these books. Like, I feel like I haven't been out in a while or something and you've got all of these cool books. The Chinese Medicine Handbook. That should be interesting. An innovative guide to integrating Eastern wisdom with Western practice for modern healing. I guess that's the contents. Oh, look at this. African myth legends. Speeches that changed the world. All right, I could stay here forever, but we're supposed to be walking. Hmm? Stairs and then so we're downstairs and we're just commenting that there were two Auntie Annie's upstairs and now another one downstairs it's just sugar everywhere I like that little puffer jacket that one? yes Look at these, look at these, look at these. These are cute. Hey, I didn't get food. Proud of myself, I did not get food. So, a little retail therapy is not bad. Instead, we're going to warmer weather. This is not bad. sensible high heels. You need a classic pair of neutral pumps and a classic pair of black pumps. These are nice. <laughs> wow. Would wear this. I really would because they look like they will be comfortable. Really? Yeah, they look very comfortable and give me height. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. And they're, wow, 65% off. Yeah. Yeah. These ones. It's giving 70s, but no, I would definitely wear the black ones, not these. I would no. wear these. I mean, I don't know. When I'm feeling crazy, maybe I would. Which is all but the time. They're actually, <laughs> they're actually not heavy. Uh -huh. Ugg boots. I'm making now these kind of half Wellingtons for the spring. Even have them in yellow. I don't know. I think they're kind of ugly though. Sparkly shoes. These are cute. Shoes and shoes and more shoes and more shoes. You can get overwhelmed in here. Really overwhelming in here sometimes. Which is a good thing. Yeah, these. They're kind of silly but fun, right? Yeah. Square heel. Huh, boo boo? Aren't those cute? Yeah. And I like these too. These are very feminine. It's like platforms are coming back. Yeah. See? Her? As is very typical, I start talking to a complete stranger. She's showing me her shoes that she's thinking of buying. <laughs> they're cute, they're different. they're different. I love playful shoes like everything else, but if I want something a little bit more serious, I tend to gravitate towards sort of classic shapes like these sling back high heel shoes. Got some Jimmy Choo here, John Paul Gaultier. Ooh, these are art. Look, boo, these bottles are art. This is art. About the bombs. Yeah, they do. And you've got me this, the Carolina Herrera. We came, we saw, we moved a little, and we avoided the temptation of all the mall food, all the sugar, Auntie Annie's. But anyway, lots of that we didn't eat. Kenton wanted to stop at a restaurant, but I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I was just curious. I wasn't. You were curious? Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, you know. But since I wasn't, you it's know. Like, it's like the same thing. You can look, but you don't touch. Mm, but it's kind of hard with food in a new restaurant. But we did it. We walked away. Um, so we do have food, obviously, at home. And we have lots of vegetables. And we can juice. And you actually already have something in the oven, right? Yeah, yeah. So. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed seeing Nana earlier. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you later in the week. Hopefully. Peace. Deuces. <laughs> Say bye, boo. Bye, boo. <laughs> bye.